all that, but you ran all over the court trying to defend the threes and mix deals and hit shots and, and everything. Uh, how, how did y'all ride that adrenaline and how are you how are you feeling now? Oh, I'm not tired. Um, a little irritated, but not tired. Um, we fought hard. I mean, I think in the first half we played some great basketball against the number one team in the nation. Uh, against six, seven. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm proud of my teammates. I'm proud of Angel for stepping up and guarding Cardoza big in the first half. I'm, I'm proud of Nice for, you know, hitting those shots. Um, I'm proud of Michaela for keeping her poise as a freshman. Um, proud of Haley. She had some mishaps, but overall she hit big shots and she tried to keep us controlled. So I'm proud of everybody. Lisa, just uh, coach in our post-game radio show said toughness is where you guys were lacking tonight. The ability to finish. You've been a part of a couple of different basketball teams now. Where does this team need to grow still, and what did you prove tonight to yourselves? Um, I feel like we need to grow with executing offensively, but m more than – actually defensively before I go to offense because all of us can score the basketball. Defensively – I've had to guard some of the top players on each team. Mm -hmm. And I feel like tonight I fell short for that defensively. Um, so that's on me. But I feel like as a team, we are coming together and we're getting to know each other. We are playing together. And this is something that we have to do better as a team. Uh, to both players, Coach Staley was talking about how amazing the game was, the competition, the crowd, and how great it was for the game. When you play in a game like that and it goes down the wire, and you just come a little bit short. What, what's your feeling walking away from there? Some good feelings, but obviously some bad as well. Or um, We just got work to do. We got work to do as a team. You know, our, our coaches, you know, me being a leader, I have work to do in those moments. Um, I think it's just going to be continue playing together. I think we needed a game like this where, like, we had to lead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Going into the half. At the end of each quarter, we gave up threes. We lost by six. You know what I mean? So tightening up on things like that. Um, the crowd was loud and into it. And we, we, we got to be able to communicate better. Um, but like I said, I'm proud. Like, that was the number one team in the nation. Stacked team. You know what I'm saying? But I just felt like we was almost there. We was almost there. Um, I would say our attention to detail and staying poised throughout the game. I feel like we had a lot of times where we let South Carolina rush us. We have to stay poised, and we have to pay attention to detail. Slaj and Issa in the back. Um, Three-point shooting that South Carolina had, what challenges specifically did that present, and how did they get open looks down the stretch in the fourth quarter? Yeah, no, um, they're a great team. They got six, seven on the paint. They got 60% shooter from the three. And pow pow, uh, they got Bree Hall, who's been playing very well from the three, slashing, driving, just a you're just a great all-around player that can hit you know big shots and big moments like she did. Um, they really stretched the floor for us, and you know our defense is you know five people guarding the ball, and it's hard to do that when you got shooters. So I think in the first half we did a great job in helping uh, a little bit, getting Cardoza, getting back to our man. You know what I mean? We kind of executed that game plan and down the stretch. Um, you know, they were tougher. They were tougher than us. Um, I would say ball penetration. If you have ball penetra penetration, it's easy to kick the ball out and, and knock down shots and for us to scramble defensively. And I felt like they did really good with that tonight. Uh, for either or both the players, where did you feel uh, Angel's absence was missed the most uh, in the last few minutes of the game? Um, I would I say on the boards. <laughs> defensively on the boards, just a presence in the inside, um, having an ex having the experience and yes. her being a senior is a lot. Yeah, I'm going to just piggyback off that experience. Um, uh, I, that was a big hit for us um, going in the end. Well, we have four minutes left. Like, that's too much time. It's too much time to not have Angel Reese on the floor. Um, so, yeah, the experience. The experience. Then we had turnovers. So, what you get. Um, this is for both players. ESPN brought their full crew to this game. I'm just curious, uh, is that meaningful to you guys? Are you aware of that? Does that elevate this game even beyond playing the number one team in the country? 
Um, I think it's great that, you know, for women's basketball, but, like, me personally, I was just focused on the game. Like, I mean, I'm focused on the game. I'm focused on being in the more team, um, you know, focus on my preparation. But it's, it is it is great. Like, look at all of y'all in here with all y'all cameras. It's, it's, it's good to see, but um, I was just so focused on this game. Like, I wanted this one bad. Um, I would say with everybody being here, it's a great experience. Um, never experienced this before. Um, so I'm grateful for that. Um, and like I said, with, like what Fla J said, I was really locked in on the game and just trying to come out with a win tonight. Right here, uh, for, for both of you, when when they initially went down, hit a pair of free throws, and then Cardoso I think made a layup on the next possession to take the lead. You guys came back down, and Haley got the end one. And you guys just talk about in those moments in the last five, six, seven minutes of this game that you didn't really allow you know them to kind of completely seize control. What was it about you guys that that really just kept that fight you know in the, in those crunch time minutes there? Not backing down um, throughout the game. I felt like they, they punch, we punch back. Um, and with a, a team as good as South Carolina, you can't back down. Um, we competitors. We're competitors. We're not just going to let somebody just come, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we competitors, and we got dogs on the court who can score the ball at will, you know what I'm saying? But what we liked tonight was the defensive end. Um, we're competitors, though. Down that stretch, I let Pow Pow drive, and oh, ooh. Um, but we're competitors, and we compete, and we help each other, and we lift each other up. You know what I'm saying? If I slip, Nice got my back. If Nice slip, I'm trying to come help in any way that I can. So we just, you know, that's just competing and us playing together. I'm so hyped for Haley. She hit two big buckets um, to keep us in the game. But you know, without Angel, we like that experience that we needed versus Cardoza. To add with that, I would just say having each other back, that's yes. something we've been working on all season, and we've been through a hell of a season together. Yes. So just having each other back throughout the game, on and off the basketball court. Final question is, uh, this is for either one of you or both. Uh, Del Rosario came in, especially early in the game, provided some big minutes. Really seemed like she kind of got her confidence going to how much did that pay off, especially when Angel went out uh, mm -hmm. there with four minutes left in the game and kind of knowing, hey, we've got her back here and she's already built confidence in this game. <laughs> We work with Lily every day. Um, hard days, tough days, some days she cry, but we want to see Lily at her best potential. And I felt like her going in there just shows how much that she's been working. Her confidence is growing, and we needed those minutes and those great possessions from Lily tonight. Yeah, I think I love Lily. She came in, got that M1, got those big boards. She was really fighting with Cardoza. I tell her every day in practice, like, Lily, like, your body is an all-American, but your mind is not there yet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you can be a great player. Like, never limit yourself. But she, it's gonna come with time. Like, she's a freshman. Like, I was a freshman, and I know like where her head is at. Like, don't mess up. Make sure I'm here. Make sure I'm there. You know what I'm saying? So you, you know, it's just like this is gonna be a big learning curve for her, and it's gonna be a good one if she take it and you know do the right things with it. I think, um, you know, she doesn't have that experience in this big game. Like, it's. 15,000 people in here. She can't hear us. We can't really talk to her. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I just gave her some grace with that because she's a freshman and she's learning. But I said, Lily, you got to get mean. Like, I'm, she's, she's a giant teddy bear. Like, I'm like, Lily, you got to get mean. All right, thank you, girls. Y'all have a good